And now power time for race number 10. Okay then. Race number 10 will feature the Lucky Day Irish, Steve Man and Ray One Shorte against Dare to Play and the fastest mother of the 48 Man League, Joe Raffrey. Let's see what happens here. Time to be thankful for another side race and a fans of 82. So please start the race! And there goes Joe Raffrey busting down the line like always. And number one is going to rest. So he will be left behind in the crowd. Joe Raffrey is quickly making it to the palm trees to bring down his coconut shaped fruit. And now he is going to eat the fruit. And he is off and running. Will anybody be able to catch up to Joe Raffrey in a hurry? We will find out soon enough. Let's watch the other free chow now. They're eating the fruit and they're off and running. With Steve Wayne, my man, watch on they're sitting in second and third place respectively. And who will get the win cards for this race? We're about to find out right now as they're to play heads for the water. It's number two who will get the only cards this time around. He is also heading for the water. And right now number one is trying his best to stay alive in the game. He is going to be flying towards the water. And I do believe two of our chow to the shortcut. Yep, I see two chow made it to the top of the hill. We'll see that we're sure that one will have a shortcut. As number two opens this one up. With back to back speed runs. It's Steering Man, followed by Dare to Play, who both took a shortcut. Steering Man Curry leans over Dare to Play by a short distance. As the next speed we made by number one, who leads over the four to challenge for place. And right now, number eight passes from one, so he'll be left behind on the competition all the way in back. We passed the one minute mark in this race. And let's find out who will get the next command speed runs. And that next PS we made by number two. That makes his first speed burst of the race. Meanwhile, it was like Joe Ravi's trying his best to stay alive. He's getting up behind and he's going to rest. It will be a meal go to make his running ability all the way back to first place. We'll soon know it will pay off in the only one. Next PS belongs to number one. That makes his second speed burst of the race. Point number seven and point number eight, meanwhile, are battling for two life on the way in the back. Which one of them will get some help? It's going to be number eight who gets it. So here we point number seven does. And Steering Man, it looks like he has a little bit of room ahead of there to play. I think he is going to lead the lucky down towards an easy victory. Yeah, as Joe Bradley takes the next command yes, he and Dad to play won't have enough distance to catch up to Steering Man in time. As Ram Marshall on the takes next speed runs, he and Steering Man are our winners. The Logan Irish prevail over Dare to Play and Joe Rathway. Another fine example of pure teamwork by the Logan Irish. They now improve to 5 and 2 and are trying their best to stay alive in the playoff hunt. And right now, number 7 is getting left behind in the competition, like always. As the last speed runs on this race, we may my number 8 who can say farewell to the episode of Jow in 5th place. Alright, so Steve Man won the battle over the shortcut of Dead to Play, and that's the only Rugby Irish Johnson victory. That's why right. well done, Rugby Irish. We'll be back under these messages, so stay tuned.